Hi. So today I want to talk about consciousness. Um, this will be for the topic of, uh, for one of the discussions. Um, essentially just asking, you know, what is consciousness? Define it, describe it, don't get too hung up on the right answer. Um, and I will say my perspective on this might be a little bit biased or nuanced um, due to the fact just purely, you know, turning this in late, not doing this when it was done to kind of get us started. I will say to kind of start it, though, and just give both sides of perspective, I believe prior to... Prior to learning everything about we did about consciousness, I will say my idea of consciousness was this idea that we have this form of kind of rationale and thinking that is kind of very unique and specific to us. And I will say that I would think we are the most conscious beings and i think then further when i kind of get down to it i will say there's other conscious beings that are alive and i think this is where when we're talking about like animals cats dogs whales etc and then where you know where, where it's more blunt not conscious is Something, you know, that's inanimate, like a rock or, or a tile, etc. Now, when I more I thought about it, and as talking about this as someone who's kind of, we already talked about and learned about it, I struggle with conceiving of what's consciousness in this phenomenon that we have. In terms of, like... We, we accord consciousness to this kind of form of intellect and this rationale, but then it also, in a weird way, it seems like it dumbs down and quantifies things that we don't want to quantify. Like, for example, as we've been talking about it in the class with AI and consciousness, is we're getting to this whole thing is that, is, can AI be conscious? And in a weird way where I think it's we're running into this weird issue is we always found this kind of beauty of our imperfections and also how we're not necessarily, you know, perfect, be able to compute everything easily and we're not predictable. You know, and I think that's actually another aspect of consciousness that I didn't even think about until now. Like literally talking to myself through this is there's this idea of just impredictability is what kind of is an aspect of consciousness. And I think when you're able to then predict with AI, you know, that is non-conscious, you know. And I think with every other life we see usually, like I said, animals, um, they're generally not predictable. However, I think going back to it, you could, in a way, reduce a lot of the things we fundamentally are, do, and receive in terms of input to kind of like computations. Um, and I believe, you know, we did talk about this. Again, I, I kind of, I will admit, I do feel bad doing such an early assignment from the semester now so late, but... We're talking about like computations, you know, the computations of the things that we do kind of just give us this consciousness. And I think further just with this consciousness is like how seamless and organic and natural it is, non-artificial, but then it's like it's getting to this messy area that if we could create it, then what's the meaning of life? Um... And I'm just getting into this weird now kind of, um, you know, I don't want to seem like it, but like the stupor stoner, oh God, we're not going to exist type of feeling and mentality with it. 
as we're struggling to define what consciousness is and also then categorize it, I think we both could have been applying it ubiquitously and ever so limited. Um, I think to, and I think right now I'm taking a bit too much of a philosophical perspective on it, as in like expanding and all of this into some bigger beyond of like what if aliens and are they bigger consciousness stuff? And I, that's something maybe I am doing bad on this, but to kind of try to bring myself back to the main topic of consciousness is what is it and i just pretty much from the class and from everything we learned i just i just pretty much say it's the phenomenon of the experience uh to be uh to have the ability to receive uh feel pain and pleasure and i remember first when we learned that it was just pain and pleasure i thought that was just kind of weird to say but you know made a lot of sense and i guess what i'm just trying to get at it, it it seems so weird to say that pain and pleasure is literally what makes us unique and this kind of beautiful god's gift i don't know why i found that so weird because I think maybe in a way I take for granted that joy and pain to where to be a more objective output. But I think that in itself could lead to like pleasure and pain. And I think further what helped me understand that aspect of what we consider consciousness to be was looking at things that are non-conscious for, you know, we could be a skeptic like Descartes and just say um you know we don't know believe or anything but like to just you know again be very practical with it you know we know that cats animals are rare, conscious but this table that you know i have my computer on isn't re isn't conscious and then so to say that how, how am i leaning up with this I guess where it made more sense that pain and suffering is an aspect of consciousness as when we look at things that are non-conscious, they for sure don't feel pain or pleasure. And if they did, then we arrive to a whole new moral argument. And that's where I think gets a little bit weird too. Um, and I guess... When we then talked about, you know, Switch Gable and the whole thing with the snail, I guess the real question for me at that point was, do they feel pain or pleasure? Um, and that's why I really struggled with figuring out if they were conscious or not, or, you know, gong. So then just apply that back to the cats and dogs. It's like, okay, did they feel the same pain as us or exactly the same pain? And it's like, it seems like they seem to feel pain. But then if we dumb it down to just a knee-jerk reaction, you know, to response to certain things, it feels less and less magical that they are alive. And I think more of a reason to dehumanize, or sorry, de... Um, just be against um, against the whole thing with consciousness. I guess, sorry, let me put it this way. And I guess where I'm the reason why, you know, I know I'm nearing ending my time, and I just want to know, you know, where I'm struggling with this is, again, doing this assignment so late, is trying not to take too much from the class of what I've read of something ahead of the class and applying to something where it's meant to 
being the reverse, right? To, you know, for me to learn this stuff, to think about this first and then learn why. Um, but overall, I just, I will say consciousness, it feels very weird, very vague. Something that didn't hit me until we were asked, what is consciousness? And then trying to derive some form of an answer from everything and yet not getting any closer to one. And that's been kind of a little bit frustrating for me. Um, but also, I think now, to be more blunt, because you're going to hear this as my assignment, and I'm at almost at 11 minutes. And the reason why I just, you know, stop. I want to do a little more as I just know I have a lot of pauses when I speak. Is that, one, it was easier to, to, try, to, to do this than writing out an essay. But this did help me now, like, just kind of approach like a way Descartes did with his philosophy, just talking to myself and figuring it out, you know. And I think it's helpful right now with no one home uh, that I'm able to talk to myself out loud and just do this without feeling, you know, free. And I grant I am being recorded, but being able to feel free with my thoughts and just go with the flow of them. Anyways, those are my thoughts. Uh, to overall end it, question was, what is consciousness? Define and describe it. I will say I define consciousness as the pheno phenomenological experience that consists of pain, feeling pain and pleasure. Um, and I think describing it, that's where I really struggle with. And I think it's more best ways to describe it is looking at, at examples of it and or what we think of it and trying to reduce it. Um, how... And however, how hard that may be, and while it may not come to say exactly from the building to ground up of what it is, I think that's a lot better of a way to find the answer. Thank you.